So you're wanting to learn how to set up Facebook alerts in OBS. Well, guess what? This video is for you. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Walt with Live Streaming Tech. In today's video, we're going to talk about Facebook alerts and how to set them up in OBS. Now, as you've seen from the title above, that this is a beginner video. And the reason being is because a lot of people kind of complain when it's like, hey, just show me how to set it up. I don't need to know all the bells and whistles. So that's for a, another video. So we're just gonna jump right in it. Only thing you need is two things, and that is OBS and a browser to that way you can log into your dashboard for whatever Facebook alert system that you choose to use. So follow me on over. Two things you're gonna to wanna to have open. You're gonna have your browser open so that way you're able to log into whatever alert system that you're using. Me, I prefer Streamlabs as far as my alert system. My brother, Dale, he likes Stream Elements. So whatever you like to use, it doesn't matter whether it's Moxie, Stream Elements, Streamlabs, whatever company that you choose to use, the concept is the same and the steps are most likely going to be the same as well. Because what we're ultimately gonna do is we're going to tie in a source with a URL. So what I wanna do is have my OBS open, I wanna have my browser open. Since I'm doing Facebook alerts, we're gonna go ahead and log in with Facebook. Once again, this is the Streamlabs OBS or Streamlabs dashboard. So you don't necessarily need to use Streamlabs OBS to use this. I prefer to use Stu uh, OBS Studio anyways. And it's kind of cool though, because if you do use Streamlabs, as far as your alerts go, um, and you choose to use Streamlabs OBS, you are set and ready to rock and roll. So that's kind of like a win-win for me. Or my brother, he uses Stream Elements. So if he uh, goes over to Streamlabs OBS, he's either gonna have to set up uh, totally new alerts, or he's going to have to tie in somehow uh, with the stream elements. So over on the left-hand side, you're going to want to click on the alert box. All right. As you see down here, you have general settings, follows, donations, merch, stars, so on and so forth. That's all your alerts that you're going to have for Facebook. So here's the thing. A lot of people will put down in the comments. They'll say, well, wait a minute. There's no alert system for this or that. That is because it doesn't exist, or at least it doesn't exist over here in Streamlabs. So this is basically set up for Streamlabs. Follow along. What we're gonna to wanna to capture is this widget URL. You're gonna to wanna to hit copy. I'm gonna show you two things. I got three tips for you today when it comes to using the Streamlabs or any of the alert systems. You're gonna to want to click on like say follows. As you see, my image and sound is already set up. Yours most likely will have a default if you are just brand new to setting these up. And that is quite okay. You're a beginner and you know you can either figure it out after you see what I do, or you can check out my video where I go a lot more into depth on how to set these up as well. But the two tips, or I should say the three tips I have for you, two of them are right here. The first one is sound volume. In comments, I see this a lot. People are saying, whoa, my alert system is way too loud or not loud enough which nine times out of 10, it's too loud. So I, I have mine set at 34%, anywhere between 25% and 40% is great. Uh, I kind of hover between the two because if you have this sucker cranked up, what's going to happen is it's going to blast your eardrums every time somebody follows or sends you stars or likes, anything like that. It's going to kill your ears and it's going to kill the viewer's ears as well. The alert duration is the second most one that I've seen people comment about. Either it's not long enough or it's too long. This slider right here will change the duration. I prefer eight seconds. Of course, I just hit it the nine, but that's okay. There, there we go, we're back on eight seconds. I feel eight seconds is plenty enough for me, but if you wanna make it longer, by all means, go ahead and make it longer. Or if you want it super short, you can do that too as well. So now that we have the URL copied, we're gonna go ahead and minimize the browser. We're going to go back to OBS. I'm using OBS 26.1.1, the 64-bit version. In your sources, we are going to want to add a new source. Go ahead and on the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see the plus button. Click that. We're going to go to browser. Okay, and this is where I like to name it. Here's the thing. As you stream, you're going to add more and more things to your overlay or your scene as you go along. And here's the thing, once you start adding all these different layers, you are gonna get confused to what is what. So here's the thing, this is the opportunity for us to kind of organize it now. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna type in Facebook alerts. Make sure that box is checked where it says make source visible or you will not see it. Hit okay. All right, now as you see here, the default is OBS project. That shows that the image is capturing whatever we're capturing for a URL and it just happens to be capturing that one. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna delete that one, get it out of there. And then now we're gonna 
right click on it and hit paste or you can hit control V. Now we're going to hit OK. All right. So now this is our window for our alerts. You can shrink it down by grabbing the corners and grab it somewhere in the middle to move it around to wherever you like. I tend to like it up here towards the top and center. I usually have my camera either bottom left hand corner or bottom right hand corner for my live streams. And I don't want it over the top of my face because I love my face. No, I'm just kidding. But this is where you're going to want to position it. All right. Now you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, Walt. How do I know I can see it? Well, before we get into that, that is the third most asked thing. They say, I can hear my alert system going off, but I cannot see it. Remember your sources, there's a hierarchy. So what I mean by that is everything is done in layers. So if it is at the top, it is at the top layer. If it is at the bottom, it is at the bottom layer. So for instance, this image here is covering up my video capture device. So that technically should be below that. You want your Facebook alerts at the very top. Think about it this way. Think uh, you cut out a little square. The Facebook alerts is a little square piece of paper that we cut out. The video capture device in the image, my background, so is a big piece of paper. If you put that big piece of paper over the small piece of paper, obviously you won't be able to see it. But however, you put that small piece of paper over the top of the big piece of paper, we can now see it. So let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. Open the browser again. This is where dual monitors come in handy, but we're going to do it on a single monitor here. So that way you can see it. And we are going to go ahead and we will test the like button. And that's all you have to do is click test like. And boom, there it is. Now, if you test it and you can hear it, but you cannot see it, you need to make sure that that source is towards the top. That was super simple, right? Well, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. But what you really need to do is you need to check out this video right here where we talk a little bit more about Facebook. Or you can check this video out right here that YouTube recommends that you watch. Until then, see you around.